Welcome, it's FNUS57 here. I'm back on Neverwinter on the Xbox One, and today I have an interesting video for you. So, we will be looking at the new pack in the Zen Market. This is going to be whether or whether or not the Expedition Pack, also known as the Expedition Leader Pack, is worth it to buy. So obviously, those of you who know, console is going to get Mod 13, on April 24th. That's 2018. No, we didn't go back in time. Anyways, we have just been given a new pack in the Zen market called the Expedition Pack. Some people are also referring to it as the Expedition Leader Pack because it's been referred to that by Neverwinter on some of their posts in the news. So either Expedition Pack or Expedition Leader Pack. And what we are looking at is a pack that you can buy from the Zen market and we want to determine whether or whether or not this pack is actually worth buying. So as you will see, it's listed in the on sale category. It's also under the packs category. Now in either category, you see it says that there is a 25% off on it. So Neverwinter was a little uh, cheeky and they prepared for this. I tried to use a 17% or not 17%, but 15% off of any item coupon. And it wouldn't let me stack it, unfortunately. So the cost of this pack before Mod 13 lands, which will be on the 24th, is 7,500 Zen. The cost of this pack after the 24th of April is going to be 10,000 Zen. However, depending on what the Zen sale is during the Protector's Jubilee, which who knows exactly what the date for that will be, but it will be after the release of Mod 13 on console. You could potentially get this pack for 40 to 50% off during one of those sales. However, at that point, I don't believe it would really be worth the wait. Now, what we are trying to decide is whether this pack is actually worth it. So there's a couple things that you want to take a look at. Obviously, depending on whether you are on the Xbox or the PlayStation, your pricing is going to be different. I'll show you the Astral Diamond Exchange currently on the Xbox because that's where I am playing. On PlayStation, it is more expensive. This doesn't really help out PC, but thank you for watching. Anyways, I do appreciate it. So right now, our Astral Diamond Exchange is at about 388. Now, I believe on PlayStation, it's around 400, 400 and change. So let's just for ease of math say the price is going to be 400. That would be for 7,500 Zen, roughly 3 million diamonds. So it's a pretty pricey pack. Now let's look at what you actually get in the Expedition pack and see if this is worth it. So these are tradable items, some of them, not all of them. You get this new spiked mount, which is all right, um, I suppose. I can preview the mount and show you. It's basically uh, kind of like an Eo Tyrannus with blue war paint on it. Um, looks cool. Looks different. As far as a equip power, it's a 1,000 recovery and a 1,000 defense. Not really that great uh, unless you need the recovery. So I don't really see too much of a benefit there on the mount. You get this companion called the Alpha Compi, which... Again, I don't really see much of a benefit in except for its active bonus is deal plus 3% increased damage and the effect is increased to plus 5% while in all of Cholt. So it is 1% less than the Siege Master, but I do see one interesting power on it and that is the Call of Vengeance. When the Alpha Compi is below 50% health, all nearby player allies gain 1% increased damage and all companion allies gain a 20% increased damage buff. Uh, could that be useful? Possibly, but I don't really see this companion being a summoned companion because usually your companion goes from full health to no health. Uh, they very rarely spend a lot of time around half health or slightly under half health. Uh, but it could be interesting to play around with because of the animal magnetism ability and just seeing how that procs while running around in the jungles of Cholt. I'm not advising buying the companion for this, but if you had it, you could play around with it. Now, if you don't want them, 
the mount and the companion can both be sold. As it says right there, binds on equip to character. It is not, I repeat, not a account-wide unlock. It is a single item obtained from a single purchase. Now, you're also going to get 100% off VIP for 30 days. So that's one month of VIP, which is an actual rank, one rank of VIP. The value of that normally is 1,000 Zen. Most veteran players would be figuring the value of that at 850 because they wouldn't buy it without a 15% off of any item coupon from Invocation. So for ease of math, I will be figuring pricing values based upon their normal buy price, which would be with the 15% off coupon. You'd be silly to buy it without that. Now, you also get the Witch Doctor Batari mask, or Batari, whatever you want to call it. It's all right. It's a fashion item I or transmute item. I see no, uh, no point in it whatsoever, really. You get the Cholton Merchant fashion box, which is the Cholton Merchant's garb. Um, it sells for roughly 10,000 diamonds on the auction house. It pretty much looks pretty crappy. So I don't really see any value in that. And then you get the Expedition Leader title, uh, which grants you the title of Expedition Leader. So if you want a title, that's how you get that title. It's pretty cool. Not really worth necessarily 3 million AD, but it is cool. Moving back over, if we take a look at the items, and this is what's going to actually make the pack worth it. When Module 13, Cholt, this is the expansion to Cholt, so it's the Lost City of Omu. When that pack actually drops, again April 24th, for console, you are going to get the Pilgrim Artifact Weapon Cache. Uh, could be good for users who don't have min-maxed artifact weapons already. I have min-maxed artifact weapons, so I can't really value that for me. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you two determinations on this pack. One for veteran players and one for new players or mid-game players. You also get the... Well, there's a little bit of a question on that, but moving on. You're going to get in that pack, it says five coalescent wards. Now, it does not say these wards are going to be bound, so I'm assuming these word wards are going to be unbound. Those are worth a thousand zen apiece, but most veteran players would not buy them without a 15% off of any item coupon or a sale, so at most you can really only figure their value at 850 zen per. You're also going to get 20 blood rubies. Now the problem with blood rubies is some people have done v uh, videos on the pack and they're, they're figuring the blood rubies at the cost of buying them on the zen market. But nobody in their right mind would buy Blood Rubies off of the Zen market. They're insanely overpriced for a pack of Blood Rubies on the Zen market. I'll go ahead and show you. They are under the Refinement category, and you will pay 2,000 Zen for three Blood Rubies. When you can go to the Auction House, and you can purchase Blood Rubies on the Auction House for less than 20,000 Diamonds apiece. So, yeah, the, the Blood Rubies, they're basically irrelevant um, as far as to anyone who should be considering that pack, their refinement for you, or at best 20,000 diamonds a piece, uh, which you're looking at maybe 400k, if you're lucky before auction house fees, if you sold the blood rubies. The biggest thing is you're going to get the new Jungles of Cholt campaign currency. This is the Lost City of Omu currency. You're going to get I believe it's a hundred of the totems and a little bit of the extra currency. It's not listed here, but it is listed on the Neverwinter forms. Approximately everybody's figuring is that should save one week off of the new raid unlock, the new trial unlock. So that is really what this pack is about, is saving that week off of the unlock. Now before you get all excited, just hold on. There's been a little bit of scuttlebutt around that this pack would include the Cholton Tiger. Now, I do not see the Cholton Tiger listed anywhere in this description of the pack on the Xbox or in the forums post. I don't see it listed anywhere there. 
So maybe they change the pack. Maybe they're going to arbitrarily add it in. I'm not sure. That is a big question mark. So put a pin in that one. But do not use it to make the deciding factor on whether you are going to buy this pack or not. So with all of that explained, we're going to move in to whether or not we should buy this pack. So if you don't want the mount, this mount on Xbox is selling for about 200,000 diamonds. Little over, but that's after the trade house fee. The Alpha Compi, for some reason, is selling for almost 600,000 diamonds. So call it 500,000 diamonds after the trade house fee. You're looking at roughly about 700,000 diamonds that you can make back if you sell the mount and you sell the Alpha Compi. Now, that is right now with the pack just being available for less than 24 hours. After this video releases, those prices are more than likely going to go down. So keep that in mind. You can also sell the Cholton Merchant Fashion Box, and you can sell the Witch Doctor Mask. That's about, at most, 20,000 diamonds right there. Um, the VIP coupon you can't sell, but that's 850 zen in your pocket if you were going to have spent that on buying VIP or did not already have VIP 12, so pretty good on that one but can be pretty useless to veteran players. As I said, I'll give you that whole determination in a minute. The title, you can't sell. Now, in Mod 13, you're going to get the five co-wards, which you should be able to sell, and that's putting you up roughly around a value that you should be able to make back if if you sold everything. Um, with the value of the co-wards, you'd get approximately 6,000 Zen back. So you'd have to have around 1,500 Zen that you're actually outlaying for literally just the campaign currency. Personal preference on that one. Completely personal preference on it. Uh, if you feel it's worth it, sure. If you don't feel it's worth it, sure. The reason why I do not take the VIP into calculation is because most veteran players, now this is where I'm giving you the two different breakdowns, most veteran players are going to have plenty of VIP time remaining. I have 573 days, 23 hours of VIP time remaining, and I'm already VIP rank 12. Most veteran players have that time remaining, not to mention a lot of them that have literally double or triple the amount of time that I have remaining. So for veteran players, you can't really figure that extra 30 days of VIP being too worthwhile because I wouldn't be able to claim it for almost another two years. Other players longer. If you only have like 30 days, 60 days, 90 days of VIP left remaining, then you might as well value that VIP because in the foreseeable future, you would be buying it anyways. Now, keep in mind that we have the Protector's Jubilee coming up in less than a couple months, which means a Zen market sale in less than a couple months. So, without further ado, now that I've explained the items and hopefully not bored you to death, go ahead and get rid of the popcorn and get ready for the answer. For veteran players, is this pack worth it? This expedition pack? Yes. Yes, this pack is worth it. It is 3 million AD, but for veteran players, you should know how to farm diamonds. I do have a Making Astral Diamonds series, if you don't know. But you should be able to farm the diamonds for this easily before the 24th. The weak extra early access, basically is going to be what makes this pack worth it. Everything else in the pack is trivial. Um, it's basically fashion, cosmetic. It's not worth it for veteran players. The co-wards, the title, and the weak early access, a little bit the VIP, are going to be what vets are going for. Now the problem is, if you unlock the dungeon a week early, if you think it's difficult to find a group, now, for something like Tomb of the Nine Gods, you better have a group put together that everybody is buying this pack. Otherwise, you're going to have a very difficult time putting together a complete trial group. At least early access. So keep that in mind when buying this. Don't run out and waste 7,500 Zen. Or if you were buying the Zen, roughly, uh, let's see, about $70, $75. If you were spending real-world money, that's USD. I don't know what it converts to in pounds or 
uh, anything like that. Sorry, I'd have to look that up. But it's a lot of money or a lot of diamonds to buy the pack if you don't have a set group, so keep that in mind. Now, for new players, we're going to look at this. This pack is new, it's nice, it's shiny, it's who I want it. Without the 100% confirmation that this pack is going to include the Cholton Tiger, because I cannot find it listed anywhere that we're going to actually get the Cholton Tiger with this pack. So that's why I said I cannot take that into the calculation. I would say for new players, this is not worth it. This pack is not worth it. Even if you sold the mount and the compi now for their going prices, and you sold the coalescent wards for their going price come mod 13, which remember it's going to be very close to the protector's jubilee. Everybody's going to have these wards. It's going to influx a lot of wards into the market, which is going to go ahead and lower the price of wards. Basically, if you sold everything and you value the VIP, which will take one quick moment to go ahead and add that up, but uh, coalescent wards pretty much follow the market on how much the cost of a thousand Zen is roughly. So even if you say that's 5,000 Zen uh, that you get back and 850 for the VIP, you're looking at roughly, you're still going to be outlaying at least a thousand Zen, at least 1000 Zen. So depending upon that cost on your particular platform at the time that you're buying this, you're going to be outlaying at least a minimum of 400,000 diamonds. All right, that's at least a minimum of 400,000 diamonds. That is not including not being able to sell a certain item or getting undercut or anything like that. And that's not guaranteeing that you are going to get in to a cradle run, that new trial, right away with that early access. It'll help with the campaign, sure, but it's not guaranteeing you a spot. So this is the way that I look at it, in short. If you are a veteran player that is not currently returning to the game, but is tomb ready now. Now when I say tomb ready, that is tomb of the nine gods ready. As in your stats are balanced for it, your crit is where it needs to be, your armor pen is where it needs to be for support classes, your power is where it needs to be, and you know your rotation, then the pack is worth it. Hands down, absolutely must have. If you are not tomb ready, the pack is not worth it. Period. End of story. Don't even consider it. Unless they add a forums post or a tweet or something before the 24th that says that pack will include the Cholton Tiger. If they add a post that says that pack will include the Cholton Tiger, then sure, grab it. But if they do not, for the time being, with the information that they provide, if you are not Tomb of the Nine Gods ready, then the pack is not worth it. And when I say Tomb of the Nine Gods ready, I don't mean any offense. So nobody get, you know, their tail feathers in a curl but when you go and look at the dungeon queue for Tomb of the Nine Gods, it says minimum required item level 12k. I am not talking about the minimum required item level. I am talking about what the player recommended item level is. And that's more about 14-15k, and even that is on the low end side. Not that it cannot be done with lower item level or lower stats, but if you try at 12k item level to buy the pack, to get early access, to be in Cradle, you are going to have a hell of a time finding a group. And I personally believe that it would be a waste of your time, Zen, and Diamonds to do that. So, in short, if you are Tomb of the Nine Gods ready and have your stats balanced, then buy the pack, you should be perfectly fine. If you are not Tomb of the Nine Gods ready and do not have your stats balanced yet, then I would not recommend the pack at this time for you. If you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, please feel free to leave me a message. Uh, my Discord is in the description. You're welcome to join that as well. And I hope the video helps you out. If it did, leave a like on it and share it with your friends. That greatly helps me out. Until then, my brothers and sisters, Thy Legion, stay frosty.